um, what works and what doesn't work. Mm. So, so far we've been talking about the micro level of something mm -hmm. perhaps much bigger. So at the macro level, uh, have you read the little bit out there, but have you read the November Manifesto? I have not. I have but, not. Uh, well, a little out there, but so the, the conclusion is mm -hmm. obviously flawed, same way that perhaps Karl Marx uh, mm -hmm. was flawed. But uh, the thought process that these people had is is interesting to understand. So okay. the thesis of perhaps the, the, the November Manifesto is that uh, the reason why, you know, technology and like we should not have technology is that it creates this uh, people to be, you know, depressed and anxious and not be as happy. And it creates what you said um, earlier with the example of the living communities that people lose the sense of power. Mm -hmm. So in, in this manifesto that he writes, he, he writes the power process where, where he writes, you know, the reason why some people feel more satisfied the others is that they have the pursuit of fulfillment, which is this idea that you have a goal, mm -hmm. you can put some effort into it and you can, you know, it's not certain that you can actually get it, but if you do serious effort, you will get that thing. And the thing is that with uh, our modern society with technology, he says that we've lost that type of power where mm -hmm. it's either, it's really easy, like we can get food pretty easily, we can, you know, go work easily, or we have the, you know, the other type of power, which is insanely hard to do anything. It's mm -hmm. insanely hard to get a job. It's insanely hard to, you know, get a partner. It's insanely hard to have a family, which creates uh, feelings of inferiority and depression and all of this. Long thing, uh, long explanation, but um, I I'm, I'm wondering how you you see that, that sort of uh, power. Like, how can we, like, because the, the, the problem fundamentally is about power, mm -hmm. is that people have less power because of technology. Some people find the artificial ways to, to do power. So for instance, he says that, you know, scientists, uh, you know, they, they find these problems and that's how they, they, they find fulfillment because that's how they, they are able to go through the power process. Mm -hmm. So one solution that he says is that, you know, how can we give more people more meaning? That like we've, we've been thinking a lot about these questions that recently is that people have lost meaning, young people. Mm -hmm. People in the past, perhaps in, in your generation, was you, they, would, they would have their midlife crisis when they were 50. Our generation, they're having it our age. Mm -hmm. if in, in college so do you have any thoughts on how to give meaning or people how to or how to create yeah. ways to give yeah people feel power? well i think i mean going back you know forgive me for keep going going back to this point but this idea of having stronger community connections helps give you meaning like having people with shared goals and shared values and having more than one community um like having one instagram community like one I mean, people felt the need for something outside of Instagram, so they created their FinSTEC accounts. Um, you know, this idea where they can actually be a bit more raw in spaces, like they were f trying to find community by creating these FinSTEC accounts instead of just the regular Instagram. What's, where What's a FinSTEC? A FinSTEC is, it's a different type of Instagram account, but you invite yeah. way fewer people and your photos are like typically less polished and you talk about things that you wouldn't talk to the public about. So people felt this, the theory is that people felt this like intense need to be so perfect on Instagram and have everything be so polished. Right. But, but on Finsta, you know, you can have a smaller group of friends, something where you can have a, a different type of connection to. Um, there's this new social media, um, um, you know, phenomenon happening now. I think it's called Be Real. Be Real. Um, Number one app of yeah, the year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so the idea there is about, you know, don't worry so much about, you know, like the polish, um, because that, that, that could add a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, looking at the lights in this space, you know, some people do that for every Instagram photo. Um, but this idea of forming connections and multiple connections with multiple communities, um, I think is something that we need to go back to. Um, you know, Urbana Champagne actually I think is a fascinating place to be right now because, you know, you can meet with a local mayor here. You can go to a town hall and meet the leaders. Like you can go to, you know, some of the school's meetings and you can talk to the people that make these decisions and you can volunteer to be, you know, parts of these groups. I think one of the things that we need to do is remind people that they can do all of these things. Um, what we don't want is this feeling of learned helplessness that 
a lot of people are feeling on social media. A lot of people are feeling um, possibly also because they work 16 hour days and are exhausted. You know, if you're a single parent, you work 16 hours a day, you don't have time to go to a town hall. You don't have time to go to a bunch of these meetings. Um, so is there some other way to, you know, reach out to local leadership, you know, to have a voice? Um, but I do think that that civic leaders and city organizers need to provide more outputs to the citizens in their spaces mm -hmm. and allow for opportunities for people to feel more empowered and not just feel more empowered, but to be empowered. Um, and if somebody, you know, is a, is a single parent, um, and they want a voice, like I was really happy when, you know, at least the university made, um, said that, you know, voting day, you know, people have off, they're going to go vote. I mean, that was a decision made to empower people. And I think that was a decision made in the right direction. Um, and that wasn't a decision that, what, that involved technology. It was a decision that involved people um, and let them go and do something that, you know, gave them a voice. Um, I think we don't want to forget that we have power as humans um, and we need to, uh, you know, it goes back to awareness. Like, what can I do? Um, you know, what, um, what, um, you know, what opportunities exist there, exist there for folks. And I think one of the challenges, I mean, if you look at, if you look at sort of like the, the income disparity in certain places, um, you know, that, that is growing. And maybe when a city sees that, you know, they need to step in and have more of these events or more of these opportunities for people to, um, you know, be able to have a, 